everybody. This is Travis with Titans of CNC, and today we're going to talk speed. Not rapid speed, not spindle speed, but rather micrometer speed. So what we have here today are three micrometers all by Mitutoyo. We have a standard digital micrometer, zero to one inch. We have a Quantum mic, also zero to one inch. And we have a quick mic, zero to 1.2 inches, just a slightly wider range. Now, while all these micrometers are extremely accurate, the speed with which they measure can differ significantly. So to demonstrate these differences, we're gonna go ahead and do a little speed test with three of our machinists, Jeff, Nicole, and Jacob. So for this test, we're gonna have them perform three measurements on this part right here. This is an orbital fitting, something you would commonly find in the aerospace industry. And what we have is we have three dimensions that basically span the range of the micrometer. We have a smaller dimension here, a medium dimension right here, and a large dimension approaching the maximum of the range right here. What we will do is each machinist will measure and record each of those diameters with each one of these three mics here. Hopefully, over the span of all three of them, we can get an average of how fast each micrometer performs. Now indeed, this is a situation that you might find yourself in, where you have a part with varied diameters and only one micrometer in which to measure and report your findings. So our machinists are ready, our micrometers are ready, let's go ahead and see how they stack up. So here we have our standard zero to one inch digital mic. Now we know that a lot of you to increase the speed of this mic will roll it along your forearms or something similar. For the sake of testing, we're gonna have everybody use the micrometers in the exact same way. Now, the standard digital mic has a spindle travel of about 0.6 millimeters or 0.025 inches per rotation of the thimble. So we finished up with our first set of measurements. We came in at just over one minute and eight seconds. So here we have the zero to one inch quantum mic. Now with this mic, we're gonna travel a little bit faster. The spindle moves further with each rotation. To be exact, it moves approximately two millimeters or 80 thousandths of an inch for every one rotation of the thimble. All right, so we've completed our second set of measurements, and as you can see, there is definitely a reduction in time with the average coming in around 47 seconds. Now here we have the quick mic. This is by far the quickest mic of them all. The travel here is 10 millimeters or 400 thousandths to travel per every one rotation of the thimble. Now to do the math, that means that this can go from zero to the full range of its capacity at 1.2 inches with only three rotations of that thimble. All right, so we've wrapped up our last set of measurements coming in at just under 40 seconds. So as you can see, the micrometers did indeed perform very differently. And as we mentioned earlier, this is due to individual differences in the spindle travel. Now how much these differences in speed matters really depends on your needs. If you find yourself on the production floor or maybe an inspection where time is of the essence or you're having to measure quite a bit, maybe something like the quick mic might work for you. However, if you don't find yourself needing to go from small to big diameters quite a bit or you just don't use your micrometers often, perhaps a standard micrometer would serve you just fine. So we hope you've enjoyed our speed test here today, and perhaps now you have a better understanding of what micrometer will fit your manufacturing needs. Please come on over to Titans of CNC Academy, where we have more inspection-related content waiting for you. We'll see you soon.